Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, channel. Welcome to the only place to get all your FS news in one video for the day. Today is a good day. Today marks the first set of fact sheets for FS22. Also, today we got some really good mods to go over. The only thing missing, though, is a testing list. At least at the time of this recording, there isn't a new testing list. Well, anyways, if you guys haven't already done it, make sure you guys put in the comment section below. Hashtag FS Consoles. Let's start off big today with likes. Let's try to go for 300. So if you're excited for Farming Simulator 22, pound that like button. Well, let's get into the news. Roll that intro. On the greatest show, so make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. We're taking our shot. What you got. We're going all the way. Welcome back. Okay, so the first piece of news to go over today, guys, is about a new brand that would make its way to Farming Simulator 22. Meridian Manufacturing Incorporated has posted this. They had said... We are excited to announce that Meridian and Convey All products will be available for your digital farm in Farming Simulator 22. These games have been great to introduce farming and agricultural practices to a wide audience around the world, and we couldn't be happier to be involved. We are featuring our smooth wall bins, corrugated bins, fuel tanks, truck load augers, Convey All conveyors, and the Convey All CST 1550. That is amazing right there. Guess what, guys? augers are going to be in farming simulator 22 this is very very excited it is going to be on console that's probably the most exciting thing right there and actually that is not all the farming simulator 22 news for today guess what guys the first fact sheets for farming simulator 22 has been released okay here is the first one right here we have the max super line truck hundred and ten thousand dollars 500 horsepower as you guys can see right there manual gear shifting so excited about that 400 liters of fuel it holds top speed is 49 miles an hour and i'm noticing on all these they actually have weight so this one says 8.8 .8 tons and then of course we have the convey all cst 1550 auger wagon hundred fourteen thousand dollars which is actually more than actually the truck uh but as you see look at that measurement right there 43.8 m3 hmm, that's very interesting right there 11.5 tons and then 34 tons what that means right there trailers have a mass limit as well as a volume limit now for farming simulator 22 okay let's get into that next fact sheet the next one we have is the class tryon 750 720 harvester three hundred fifty seven thousand dollars 367 horsepower and as you guys can see the shifting variable cvt uh fuel 800 liters uh, working speed, well, top speed is 18 miles an hour. It can hold up to 10,500 liters, 16.9 tons, and you guys can see the crops right there. Then also with the header, we have the Convoyo Flex 1080 header, 63,500, 2.8 tons, 10.8 working meters. Uh, let's see, six miles an hour working speed, and then of course those crops right there. Then after that one, we have the first tractor fact sheet, which we have is the Fence 900 Vario tractor. $280,000, 296 horsepower, variable CVT gear, uh, gear shift, uh, 625 liters, uh, top speed of 37 miles an hour, and then of course 11.5 tons. If you guys can see also on that picture, uh, looks like the either if that's a worker or your created person, looks like there's a lot more like customization options with that. Okay, and then also with the cedar in the back, we have the Rapid A800S cedar. 159,500, 240 horsepower, 3,100 liters, 7.7 .7 tons, eight working meters, 11 miles an hour working speed, and this just does seeding. And then of course you guys can see the crops under there. And then now onto the last fact sheet, which is the KS brand. We have the Pats and it's Kali, is that how you say that? Fertilizer, 750 liters, $1,400. And of course that is for regular like solid fertilizer. Then we have the EPSO Top Liquid Fertilizer, which is 6,000 liters, $9,600. And of course, that's liquid fertilizer. Then for, uh, let's see, we have the Corn Cali Solid Fertilizer Big Bag, which is $1,820, 1,000 liters. So that is it of the fact sheets for today. Hopefully we get some more on Friday. Okay, now on to the regular news for today. The first one is some more tease pictures from Agro Mods. This is the Port D Agronopolis right here. Remember, this map will be coming to every single platform. Looks really good. Cannot wait. This is probably going to be the first Brazil map I actually play on the channel. 
Okay, and now the next piece of news, which is a pretty big one, guys. Two big names in the modding community, Sid Modding and JHHG, are combining up, and they're going to be bringing a new brand to Farming Simulator. I'm probably going to butcher this name. The name is Kajakowski Uppera Pazawa. I probably just butchered that name bad. But they're going to be bringing this brand to everybody, including consoles, guys. But they have this to say about it. What is Kajakowski brand? It is a brand from Poland focused on strip till equipment and the most advanced technology available on the market. During our current cooperation with them, soon you will be able to get two brand new vehicles to the game for medium and large farms. And this will also be coming guys to FS19 and FS22. The first one we have is the Kajakowski STK300 450 strip till and of course the PS300S sewing attachment. Uh, also, they had to say about it, European stuff isn't much in common with your style in the game. Don't worry. Modifications will also include North American design configurations. So that's gonna be big right there. Can't wait to actually see this in the game. And I might be showing an early preview of this later on. So definitely stay tuned in for this channel for that guys. And then after that one, we have the last piece of news for today, and this is from LR Modding. They have this to say, after a long stop with mods, I'm back to deliver more mods to you guys. The John Deere 1775 NT Planter 24 rows. Uh, the modeling is done, the texturing's is done, and game's done, dynamic hose is done, and the Giants editor done. They also have this to say about it. There are still some th items to be done, but they're optional that can be added little bit by little bit. Specs, the John Deere 1775 NT 24 row 30. Seed capacity, 130 bushels, which is 4,581 liters. Price, 240,945. Power requirements, 280. Working width of 18 meters, which is 6 to 60 foot. Uh, row unit type, uh, max emerge uh, five row units and take capacity 600 gallons, which is 2,271 liters. Okay, so that is all the regular news for today. What's left? New mods and updates. But before we get into that, something to announce. Okay, if you are in our live streams, you guys know we do FSC buck winners and of course donations for the week winners to join us in the VC for that next week. Well, we are starting a new one now, and it is basically like a keyword winner. Uh, remember the rules, though. You have to at least be 17 and have Discord. Okay, how this is going to work. Throughout the weeks, I'm going to actually be giving everybody keywords. If you get all those keywords right for the week, on Sunday, the last one, I'll be like basically saying this is the last one for the week. And as soon as that video is published, the first person to put that in the general FS Club Discord, all those words together will win VC for the week. And if you are under the age of 17, guys, you can pick someone else to take your time. So there's that right there. Okay, let's go over and take a look at the new mods on console. Okay, here we are on console. Take a look at the new mods for today. The first one that we got is the Mossy Ferguson 3105 Phantom by KZ Modding. Let's see, 105 horsepower. This is a small tractor, 19 miles an hour. Rim color, you got grays, blacks, uh, cream, white, and orange. Configuration, though, you got standard. You got 260 kilogram front weights. You got back to standard. Wheel brand, you have Trailborg. You have Michelin. Trailborg, you have, let's see, standard. Wheel weights, narrow tires, and then back to standard. Michelin, you have standard. Wheel weights, and then back to standard. Uh, let's see, it's 38,600. And let's see, slots, it is 23 slots. So let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, so here we are. Looks really good. 3105D Mossy Ferguson Phantom. Okay, so there we go right there. Let's get inside of it. Didn't see no animations. Let me make sure. Nope, no animations. Uh, let's see. Map size, horn. And that is it. Beacons. One set of lights, two set of lights, three set of lights. Turn signals. Yup. Let me go back here, make sure. Yep. Okay, let me turn the engine over. I'm going to be quiet so you guys can actually hear it. Top speed of 19 miles an hour. So everything turns on in here. Okay, really nice mossy. We've been getting a lot of mossies lately. lately. Okay, so that right there, guys, was the Mossy Ferguson 3105 Phantom. After that one, we have the Quadro Pro Baylor Pack from Black Shimani. Been waiting for this thing right here. But you get this, which is $35,000. Change the rim color. We got grays, blacks, reds, and then back to white. 
Main color looks like pretty much any color really. And this is, let's see, eight slots. This thing could do four bales. But also, that is not it. He also included some balers. We have, let's see, the fence balers right there, which these are 10 slots a piece, 85,000 for the regular one, 105,000 for this one. And then we got Challenger, we got Mossy, and then we got New Holland. Options in them, let's see. Change the colors. Rim color you can change. Will brand Michelin. Trailborg, uh, let's see, trailer hitch, so you can actually put a trailer on it too. That's gonna be very helpful, mainly if you wanna do some auto loading or something like that. Uh, so there's that right there. So let's actually get this one, just cause I wanna see what this one does. And then of course we're gonna get the Quadro Pro. Uh, let's actually take a look at these in game. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're gonna be using the John Deere 6230R because you need at least 200 horsepower for that one right there. So let's go ahead and hook this up and we'll try it out. Okay, so right over here, I believe these were actually in FS17. So let's go over here. We're gonna need to unfold this in a second. But this makes it so you don't really have to win row anymore. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, fold, baler, lower pickup. Uh, how do you oh there we go So you actually use the LB and the right stick So that goes down like that And then if we go to lower it lowers all of it and let's go ahead and start to bailing real quick should make this a lot more easier Oh, yeah, look at that So this is definitely gonna help, like say, like with grass. And with straw, not not so much, unless unless you have something that's a little bit smaller that makes uh, smaller windrows. But so far, I like it. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get four bales real quick, so I can actually show you guys the bale stacker real quick. Okay, so here we go with actually the Quadro Pro baler. Well, let's turn into operating position. So let's see what happens when it goes to operating position. Okay, there's that. Okay, so... Is, I forget how you do this. Do you back up to this? I forget. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I remember now. Okay, also what you could do is actually hook that back to there with the trailer attachment and it can automatically, of course, you know, load up your bales. Let's see, if we just go right over to here and there you go right there. The easiest way though would be, be to put a trailer attacher on that. And that way you can just, you know, yeah, just load it up. As soon as they unload, they'll go right into the four stacks. See, all you gotta do is just go right next to them, really. See, there's three. And then there's four. And there goes the sound right there. It's telling you you need to unload this. So unload bales. And just goes out like that. And unload. And then close the back back up. And back to, I think it's on operating position still. Yep, see, and there you go. So that right there, guys, was the Quadro Pro Baylor. Amazing game changer right there. Okay, now the next mod after that one is a very unique one. This is the John Deere 7R Tri-Series from EY Modding. Uh, but as you guys can see right here, it's 269 horsepower. This is a large tractor. Uh, main color, you got pretty much any color you want. So if you wanted to have a pink John Deere, you can have a pink John Deere. <laughs> okay, let's go over to here. We got glass type. We got one, two. Uh, let's see, design. You got standard. You got hazard lights. Ooh, I like those hazard lights on top. And back to standard. Uh, let's see, engine setup. You got the 7230R trike, which is 269. The 7250R trike, which is 290. The 7270R trike, which is 305. The 7290R trike, which is 332. The 7310R trike, which is 352 horsepower. So I'm going up to 352 horsepower with an extra 41,500. Wheel setup, we got standard. We got wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, rear twin wheels, and then back to standard. Okay, this thing is also 49 slots, ouch. Uh, let's actually take a look at this in game. Okay, so here we go. Wow, this is a very unique looking tractor right here. Looks like the, it's a tractor right here and they added something to it. Wow. All right, let's actually get inside of it. See if there's any animations. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's see. Map size, horn. 
Okay, that is it on that. Lights, we got one set of light. Oh, okay. As soon as you turn the lights on, it that turns on. Two set of lights, three set of lights. And then let's see, beacons. Okay, uh, do those other lights, yeah, the, the other lights turned off too. Looks like you can like, almost like detach that. Okay, anyways, let's turn on that engine. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can actually hear it. Okay, top speed is 32 miles an hour. Let me turn this back on again. Everything lights up. All right, let's, let's see the turning radius. Oh, wow, look at the turning radius on this thing. Top speed is 32 miles an hour. I actually kind of like this thing. And talking about some, uh, like, doing some fields and uh, plowing and all that. Okay, so that right there, guys, was the John Deere 7R Trike Series. What do you guys think about this? Okay, and then the next mod after that one we have is the Trans Tank 12048 TC Pack from Raleigh Christie. But anyways, this one right here can hold up to 120,000 liters of any liquid. Change the main color to anything you want. So if you want it red, you can have it red. Design color to any color. So let's put it on green. What did that change? I don't see anything it changed. We'll find out in a minute though, I bet. Rim color, any color you want. Wheel brand, we have Trailborg. We have Michelin. Trailborg, you have standard wide tires. Michelin, you have standard and wide tires. This decals, you have standard. Oh, there we go right there. We have star, lines, flag, waves, attaches. You got standard, you got unloading mechanics, trailer low, and then back to standard. And then also we have a smaller version one right there, which is eight slots, holds up to 48,000 liters. Oh, by the way, this one is eight slots too. Uh, but anyways, this one, same thing, main color, design, same color, rim color, same color. And I believe all this stuff is all the same too. So really nice liquid transporting tanks. Okay, and then after that one, we have the Goel TDD Bale Transport Spike, which is 1500. This is from A Dub Modding. So, of course, this would go good, of course, with the Quadro Pro Baler Pack. Uh, but, anyways, 1500, it is two slots. Okay, and then after that one, we have some placeables to go over. In the first placeable we have is the Tunnel Sheep House from Corato Farms. Let's see, 60,000 holds up to 65 sheep. Uh, let's go ahead and place this really quick if I can find somewhere that hasn't been taken up already from other stuff I've shown. Uh, so there it is right there. Uh, let's see. Really nice. Uh, is there any gates or anything like that? Looks like all the feed areas is right over here. This looks like probably for your water. Does this gate actually? Yes, the gate does open. Uh, this might be for your grass right here. Or actually, I think it's right in front of there. Let's see. Oh, no, this is where you get your sheep. Okay, so let's get a few right there. The gate also does open, as you guys can see. Uh, this one also opens. And this is probably your wool spawn point. So, yeah, I'm thinking that is where they actually feed right there. Hello, sheep. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the tunnel sheep house. And the next one after that one we have is a decoration. This is the wayside cross, which is 3,500. Three slots on this one. So let's go ahead and place this really quick right there. So there is that. Okay. Uh, that is just a decoration. Okay, so there is the Wayside Cross. And this is also from the Land Bowers. I believe that's how you say that. Okay, the next one we have to actually go to the store to take a look at. Okay, the next one after that, guys, is guess what? We got some new seeds. We got the Farm Supply Pack. Actually, this is more than just seeds. Uh, these are two slots a piece, 5,000 liters. So that's really good compared to, say, uh, let's see, this is 2,100 for 1890. So this is a lot cheaper. We got barley, canola, chaff. Oh, so you can actually get chaff. Wow. Uh, maize pallets, oats, potatoes, soybeans, sunflower, wheat, silage, straw. Geez, there is a lot. So let's go ahead and buy one real quick. Uh, is there anything in the big bag section? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got separate bags. We have barley's. These are $50 a piece. Uh, yeah. And then let's see. Bales. Is there anything in here? No, there isn't. So there they are right there. I'm hoping that sometime we get like a realistic cedar. You know, we're actually put wheat seeds and actually the cedar. And then, you know, we have to dump it out and put it out, put in new ones to do different kind of seeds. That'd be nice too right there. So that is the straw ones right there. So that is the farm supply pack from the Lord. 
So that is all the new mods for today. Let's go over, of course, the updates for today. We did get one new map though. Okay, the new map we got for today is the Old Kiwi Farm from Kaz64. They have this to say about it. Welcome to the Old Kiwi Farm. Here you will find 52 small to medium odd shaped fields that worker friendly. An easy place to start farming on several average fields. The map has a quite a bit of detail wherever you look. This is a old feel to it. It's loosely based on where I grew up here in Hawks Bay and I invite you to try out and see, uh, see if you like it. BGA, Animal Dealer, and Cell Points are old and gives you that feeling of being a kid running around. The map is seasons ready and custom precision farming ready. It has extra fruit with custom made textures. It is It has placeable areas spread over the map for you and is a good for multiplayer, so thank you. I can't wait to actually take a look at this one. Now for updates for today, the first update for today is for new Bartle Shake. And what did this change on this one? Farmhouse and Sleep Trigger fixed, Terrain Detail Height Channel Bug fixed, and BGA weight station now with display. And then after that one, we have a big update for Finch Dillberg, I believe that's how you say that. Farm is now sellable, farm is now placeable, precision farming ready, added points of sale for milk and eggs, uh, field unevenness adjusted, metals adapted, A trigger and chickens is now visible, sleep trigger added, and he also had to say need to start a new safe game. Then after that one, we have an update to the Mossy Ferguson 265. What did this change on this one? Add an option without cab, uh, without cab, with cab. Okay, now we have an update to the New Holland 8066. What did this change on this one? Add a single axle option. Then the next one, the Mossy Ferguson 8600 update. What did this change on this one? Front weight configurations re-edited, wheel configurations re-edited, new interior animations, and new details added. Then we also have an update to the Vulture A4 Series Brazil. What did this change on this one? New wheel options, add a new high-tech version, new weight options, new engine sounds, and new motorization options. And then an update to the Scooter. What did this change on this one? Added sounds and some improvements on that. And then after that one, we have an update to the SO14. Let's see, the change log on this one. Fixed bugs, uh, icon and shop change, and addition of dynamic cedar elements. Okay, now on to the last new update for today, and this is for the controllable weight attacher joint. What did this change on this one? Manual height and tilt adjustment added. Mod icon changed. Mod name changed. Previously was the ACS weight pack, and then height and tilt controllable game base weights added. Okay, so that is it of the updates. Before we get into the outro, guys, I'm gonna be saying the keyword. The keyword for today, guys, is farming. So there is the keyword right there. Remember, every single day, there will be one keyword. Scratch that, that is not it. Actually, the testing list finally came out. So in PC testing, which is only three mods, we have the John Deere A25, the Mossy Ferguson 30, and then Old Polish Brick Barn. Now on consoles, we have the set of fences for your map, AGM, P310, and Bodywork, Agromash, APS, 40H, Eddingham Park, Big Bags XXL, Case IH Axle Flow 130 150 pack, Case IH Tiger Mates 255 Field Cultivator, Famed A Plows, Vaxinal Map, Handcrafter Ripper, John Deere W200 Series, KZK6, Lapacho Trees, Labur TL4367, Lizard 151311 Cultivator, Lizard F350 Super Duty, Lizard RN8012 Pack, Lizard Sam 600L, Man TGX26640 TCM, Mossy Ferguson 5650, Mossy Ferguson 7600, New Holland TF Series, New Holland Workmaster Series, Old Pickups Pack, Pitchfork Pack, Polish Liquid Fertilizer Tank, Polish Potato Box, Riverside Shed Pack, Same Pack, the Plantation, Underground Silo, Volpermann Rugen, and then last but not least is the Wind Turbine Pack. Now, mods, we've tested only seven 
current Ezra 10 guys is one workday. Well, that is everything for today was the fact sheets, news, and new mods for today. Today's schedule after this is a live stream tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, which we will be back on Farming Simulator on console. Like always, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Also, don't forget to share this video everywhere. We are getting closer and closer to the big 60,000 sub mark. Have an amazing day, farmers. Peace. Crazy nights, I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about.